Did you know that 90% of all the data in the world was created in the last two years? That's insane, right? Now imagine a world where computers aren't just boring, number-crunching machines, but can actually think, solve problems, and even create art using all that data. Welcome to the wild and wacky era of generative AI we're in today, where artificial intelligence learns, thinks, and communicates like us. It's like having a super smart buddy who can help with almost anything, even doing your homework or writing your work emails for you. But you didn't hear the last part from me. Generative AI, or as I like to call it, the AI that makes stuff up, is changing our world big time. You've probably met it in things like ChatGPT or Gemini for those Google fans. Think of it as a huge brain floating in the cloud that you can chat with anytime. Sure, it messes up sometimes. Those are called hallucinations, which we all have that issue sometimes. But it's still pretty amazing, and they're getting smarter every day. With all the new data being gathered up, this AI tech is going to affect every single person and business on the planet, for better or for worse. In this video, we're going to slice through all the hype and see what generative AI is really about, in plain and simple terms. Understanding this tech will help you survive, and even rock it in the age of AI. So let's dive in as I've got an interesting piece of information to share with you. All right, let's start by explaining what AI is. AI, or artificial intelligence, is like having a super smart pet that can learn and do tricks. But instead of fetching the newspaper or playing dead, this pet recommends the perfect memes, writes poetry, and even tells you what to binge watch next. Yeah, it's like your very own robot sidekick. Traditional AI has been around for a while. Think of it like that reliable but slightly boring friend who always knows what pizza topping you'll choose or which movie you'll enjoy based on your past choices. You know, like that one friend who says, hey, you like that cat video, so here's another one, and another one. Kind of predictable, right? But now we have generative AI. Imagine your smart pet suddenly learning to create its own funny videos, writing original songs, or even painting masterpieces. Generative AI doesn't just fetch content, it makes new stuff out of thin air. That's the G in GPT, generative. But you may be thinking, what about the PT part in GPT? It stands for pre-trained transformer. Sounds fancy, right? Basically, it's a type of AI model that has been trained on a huge amount of data before you even start using it. This training helps it understand and generate human-like text. So the PT part is what makes GPT super smart and ready to help you out with anything from writing stories to answering your weirdest questions. Generative AI can chat with you like a buddy, craft stories, compose music, and even design wacky inventions you might never think of. For example, ever wondered what a crossover between a unicorn and a skateboard would look like? Generative AI can help paint that bizarre picture for you. But you must be wondering how these AI systems get so smart in the first place? We'll cover that in the next section and beyond when I explain the magic behind the scenes. But to sum up AI, Traditional AI is like a super efficient librarian who always finds the right book for you. Generative AI, on the other hand, is like a wildly creative artist who not only reads all the books, but also writes new, fantastical tales while juggling flaming swords. And that's what makes generative AI interesting and groundbreaking. And here's a mind-blowing stat for you. By 2025, the AI market is expected to be worth over $190 billion. That's more than the entire worldwide video game industry, which is huge. Just imagine all those games, consoles, and everything gamers love combined are still smaller than what AI is going to be. Now that we have a better understanding of what AI and Gen AI is, let's dive deeper into the magic of generative AI. Generative AI is like having a super smart friend who can create things from scratch. Imagine you ask this friend, tell me a story about dragons. Using its incredible brain power, like doing really fast math and remembering lots of stories, it uses a large language model, or LLM, to generate a whole new story about dragons. It tells you about a brave knight who befriends a wise dragon, and together they save their kingdom from an evil sorcerer. What's cool is, if you tell it to continue the story or ask questions like, what happens next? It adds more details like describing the dragon's fiery breath or the knight's shining armor. This AI learns from reading tons of stories and tries to make new ones that sound real and exciting. And speaking of learning, have you ever wondered how these AI systems get so smart in the first place? Well, we'll get to that soon. 
back to LLMs. They work by processing text as numbers and using a big network to predict and generate new text. Whether it's writing articles, drawing pictures, or composing music that sounds just like it was made by humans. It's all about learning to create new things, but in a very smart, number-based way. And here's another jaw-dropper. Generative AI has already written entire books and composed symphonies that people can't even tell apart from human-created ones. It's like living in a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now. Now that we've scratched the surface of how Gen AI works, let's take a closer look at the incredible diversity within these AI models. Imagine generative AI models as a diverse cast of characters, each with their own unique superpowers. Some can write epic tales at lightning speed, while others can paint vivid landscapes with just a few brush strokes of code. These models vary in speed, capability, and even personality, catering to different needs like a superhero team with specialized skills. Text transformer models like GPT-4 are the wordsmiths of the AI world. They can spin yarns, write poems, and craft compelling arguments, all with the finesse of a seasoned writer. Ever wish you could conjure up art on demand? Models like Dolly can do just that. Give them a description, and they'll sketch out scenes that seem straight out of a dream, or a nightmare. Imagine having a composer on call 24 7 Models like Jukebox can compose tunes in any genre, from classical to techno, making AI the ultimate DJ. These models aren't just tools, they're creative partners, ready to collaborate and bring your ideas into the world with a touch of AI magic. And speaking of collaboration, ever wondered how these AI models learn and get trained to be so smart and creative? We'll dive into that one next. And here's a fascinating fact. Did you know that some AI-generated art pieces have been auctioned for thousands of dollars? That's right. AI creations are making waves in the art world, blurring the lines between human and machine creativity. Now that we've explored the amazing capabilities of these AI models, you might be wondering how they get so smart. Let's dive into the process of training these large language models. Training a large language model is like teaching an animal, such as a dolphin, how to understand and communicate in a new language. Imagine instead of giving the dolphin a manual, we simulate different scenarios and environments for it to interact with. Similarly with LLMs, we feed them a vast amount of text from the internet. This text acts like the varied experiences a dolphin might encounter in its environment, each piece of text providing new insights and patterns. Just as a dolphin learns to respond to different signals and cues in its surroundings, the LLM learns from this diverse text by recognizing patterns and connections. Through this process called backpropagation, the LLM continually refines its ability to predict and generate accurate and meaningful text. Once trained, the LLM can then generate text, answer questions, or create stories and poems with impressive accuracy and creativity. But what happens once these models are trained? Are they the end product or just the beginning? We'll get to that in a sec. But before we go there, Here's an interesting fact. The training process for models like ChatGPT involved analyzing hundreds of billions of words. That's like reading the entire English Wikipedia more than 100,000 times. Who wants to sign up for that job? Now that we understand how these models are trained, let's break down the difference between AI models and the products built from them. When we talk about AI, it's like discussing the difference between a car engine and a fully assembled car. AI models are like the engines. They're powerful systems designed for specific tasks, such as generating text, creating images, or processing data. These models are the core technology packed with algorithms and capabilities. On the other hand, AI products are like the cars. They're applications or services built around these models to solve real-world problems. Think of a smart assistant app using language models to help you with daily tasks or an image editing tool powered by AI to enhance photographs. These products provide user-friendly interfaces, additional functionalities, and integration with other technologies, making AI accessible and practical for everyday use. Understanding the distinction between AI models and products helps you grasp how technology is applied in different contexts, from research labs developing cutting-edge algorithms, to consumer apps that leverage AI to improve our lives. And speaking of leveraging AI effectively, 
There's an art to getting these AI models to produce the best results. And it's what we'll explore next. Here is a mind-blowing fact. Did you know that the AI-powered virtual assistant market is projected to grow to over $16 billion by 2027? That's 16 Bs, not Ms. This shows just how quickly AI products are becoming a part of our daily lives. Now that we better understand the difference between AI models and the products built from them, let's delve into the art of guiding AI LLMs to produce the best results for us. This process is known as prompt engineering. Prompt engineering with generative AI is like mastering the art of asking just the right questions to get the best answers. It's akin to being a detective who knows exactly which clues to follow to crack a case. Imagine you're a detective solving a mystery. If you ask vague questions, you might end up with vague clues that don't lead anywhere. But if you ask precise, insightful questions, you can unravel the mystery step by step, uncovering the truth with each new piece of information. Similarly, with AI, crafting clear and specific prompts is crucial. It's about framing your queries in a way that guides the AI to generate relevant and accurate responses. There are numerous resources available to help you refine this skill. But like any detective, practice is essential to sharpen your ability to extract valuable insights from AI models effectively. So now you may be wondering how we perceive and integrate AI into our daily lives and work environments can make a significant difference. And it absolutely does, but we'll cover that next. In the meantime, here's a career thought-provoking fact. Some companies have specialized roles called prompt engineers, whose sole job is to design and refine prompts to get the best possible results from AI models. It's a growing field that blends creativity with technical expertise. Perhaps you've just found your new career path. People in businesses have mixed reactions to AI. Some think it won't really change much for them, while others worry it might take away their jobs. But hey, let's be real. AI isn't here to steal your job. At least that's what they tell you. But I'm not sure how much I believe them. Regardless, it's here to stay, and it will help make our lives easier. Think of AI as that one super efficient colleague who never takes a coffee break and never needs a nap. Imagine AI as a skilled assistant in a busy office. It can handle repetitive tasks swiftly and accurately, freeing up your time for more complex and strategic endeavors, like perfecting your coffee art or finally organizing that messy desk. For instance, AI aids doctors in diagnosing rare conditions by analyzing vast medical data, assists lawyers in legal research to uncover precedents and case laws faster, so they can spend more time arguing in court, and supports teachers in grading assignments and creating personalized learning plans for students, because who really enjoys grading papers? The true power lies in the synergy between human expertise and AI's computational prowess. By embracing AI as a collaborative partner rather than a competitor, you unlock new possibilities for innovation and efficiency within your team and organization. This collaborative mindset not only enhances productivity, but also positions individuals with AI knowledge and skills to play pivotal roles in shaping the future of their fields. And here's the last interesting fact. According to a recent study, companies that fully embrace AI are expected to boost their productivity by up to 40% by 2035. So, if you want to be ahead of the game, maybe it's time to make friends with the bots. It also begs the question of what is the result of that 40% productivity improvement in terms of jobs? In this journey through generative AI, we've explored its capabilities, how it's trained, the distinction between models and products, the art of prompt engineering, and the importance of an AI mindset. By understanding and embracing AI, we can enhance our skills, drive innovation, and improve productivity. And here's the interesting news I promised at the intro. I used ChatGPT to help make edits to the script for this video, and it was incredibly helpful, and I have no shame or regrets to admitting to it. So, take advantage of AI tools. They'll make your life easier. Thanks for watching, and comment below on what AI tools you're using.